everyone, welcome back to Talk Bible to Me. I'm really excited for these next few videos because it's just a message that I wish everyone could hear and follow. But I think this is a message that we can all really hear right now. You saw the title, it's about love, and there's going to be three different parts to this video because there are three different main people who you need to love. Anyway, I'm wearing my kindness shirt right now because love. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Like I said, there's going to be three different parts to this video and they're all going to be based around this verse in Matthew. It's Matthew 22, 37 through 39. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. The first part, loving God. This is the great and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. And so I took that last part and made it into two because it says you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You can't love your neighbor unless you learn how to love yourself first. Okay, it goes loving God, loving yourself, loving your neighbor. You can't do these bottom two without the first one. You can't love yourself unless you love God first. And you can't love your neighbors unless you love yourself and you have to love God to love yourself. It's just a big cycle. And so that's why uh, we have to work all three of these together. But the main first step to anything is loving God. And it says in that verse, it's the great commandment. And a lot of people do, they think of it as the greatest commandment because if you follow all of the other commandments, but you don't love God, then it's just, it's, it's so important. So this first video is going to be about loving God because we can't start with loving your neighbor if you don't love yourself. And we can't start with loving yourself if you don't love God. So let's love on our God right now. And you're like, yeah, how do I love God? Let's talk about it. There's so many ways that you can love God. Just like there's so many ways that you can love your family or like that. You can show your love in so many different ways to God too. We can love him by obeying him, which says something in John 14. He knows that you love him if you follow his commandments. And you can love him by trusting him, trusting in him, giving him all of your faith. You can love him by talking to him every morning, every night, and just building that relationship with him and just showing him your gratitude and all of your love. And next verse is 1 John 4:19. We love because he first loved us. His love is the first love that we have ever felt. We learn how to love from him. We don't learn how to love from anyone else but him because that is the type of love that you wanna to show to everyone around you is God's love. And so that's how you learn how to love, it's from him. He is our best example on how to love someone. He loved the whole world, John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. He sacrificed his son because he loved us. Jesus gave his life because he loved us. If that's not the greatest example of love, then what is? Like, whoa, he died for you. I will catch a grenade for you. Except he would die on a cross for you. Boom, roasted. It's a whole cycle. Love started with God. He passed it on to someone else. They passed it on to someone else. And then it ended up to you. And woo, love is just a big cycle and we need to give it to everyone. But right now we're focusing on God. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. And back again to Matthew, it says, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. It says we should love our Lord God with all of our heart. It's basically impossible for us to love him with all of our heart by ourselves. We love him through the Holy Spirit. We're going to fail. We're going to fail at giving everything we have to God because there are going to be days where you just get carried away by something else and you don't realize that you're not giving everything to God. And so sure, you're always going to love God with all your heart, I hope, but it will never be as strong as it needs to be. And so that's why we have Jesus and grace because we are saved by Jesus and whew, our love is stronger through the Holy Spirit and through Jesus. And so we really need to focus on showing as much love to God as possible because he has given so much love to us. And so we need to love him. We need to feel his love. You also need to learn how 
to realize that you are loved so much by him and then we can love him oh my gosh let's make a love count right now how many times have i said love anyway focus on that this week show him your gratitude show him your love and then next week we will talk about loving yourself be kind be kind to yourself be kind to others and kindness and i will see you soon Living like Jesus requires loving like Jesus.